Right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's cryptic crossword for Friday, March 22nd. Happy Friday. It is set by Picaroon. Now, I've mentioned a new channel, uh, the Cryptic Mystic, and in a couple of his recent videos, he suggested, I think, is a very good strategy, uh, particularly for beginners like myself, to start by looking through the clues for anagrams. They can often be the easier, easiest ones to spot and then uh, try and work out the anagrammed word. Of course, they sometimes fiendishly hide the uh, anagramming part. But I'm going to steal his idea. So let's look at uh, eight across, defensive work from a side playing china at first well that could be an anagram playing um but we need eight letters china at first could be the c that begins china a side playing would just be five letters plus c is six work could be op but it says work from and usually the from indicates we're about to get the wordplay and the definition comes before the from. So a word that means defense. So I, all, all in all, I don't think this is an anagram. How about it may keep one warm, although one's not cool. No, it doesn't look like an anagram. Now, awful. It's definitely an anagram indicator. Cakes left with nothing on top. Now, the end of that clue seems like wordplay to me, so I'm not sure then in this case, awful does indicate an anagram. So maybe the strategy isn't going to work for me today, but uh, let's keep going. Now, cocktail. Definitely, definitely suggests an anagram. And it's a cocktail of lime, men, add, which adds up to 10 letters. I think it's from doing the uh, redactal game for so long. I've gotten better, I think, at counting up how many letters are in words. And so then extra designation which each other across answer has here. Ah, so this suggests that the crossword has a theme. I'm not sure how to understand each other. Every other across answer would mean every second one. Is it saying that all of the other across answers have some extra designation that's two words, six, four? Uh, so it could be maybe some um, accent that should be put on the letters. Or, hmm, not exactly sure, but I think this would be a great one to get. A, because I think it's going to be an anagram of Lime Men Add. Um, and then it may help us understand the rest of the across clues. So what I like to do is on a... I know we do have the anagram helper here on the Guardian site, but I only find that useful when we have some of the letters at least. Uh, so I like to just on a piece of paper, jot down all the letters in a, in a jumble. So I don't put them in, in a row. I just jumble them up. I think it was my grandfather taught me how to do that. Um, and so I'm, I'm just going to do that on paper and I'll come back to you if I have something. Okay, I spotted when I did that little jumble that we had the letters of middle, and the uh, letters that are left over are name, which definitely meets the definition of an extra designation. But that means each other across answer has here. Oh, I wonder if in the middle of every word we're going to see a name hidden within it. So that might help us. Um, 
Okay, so let's keep going, keep looking for anagrams. Drunk, definitely, could be an anagram, but I think in this case, I think in this case we're going to put some letters inside of some others, so I'm just thinking old and whiskey, cheap old whiskey. Well, old is usually abbreviated to O. Whiskey is W in the NATO phonetic alphabet. So I think they're going to be drunk or um, put inside a word for grant, and it's going to mean cheap. And the fact that it's hyphenated 3 3. Um, well, I'm thinking grant could possibly be lend, um, and so we could have low end. Ah, and we get the name Owen in the middle of it, so I think that confirms that's probably right. Keep going. Um, artist periodically seeing. So periodically usually means we take alternating letters from the fodder uh, to get the definition, so not an anagram. Palace of Versailles, excursion, no. Fish lie low oddly. Again, oddly is like periodically. I think we're going to take some odd letters from something. Enormity from rogue scene stopping loving gestures. Not an anagram, I think. Lots disheartened. I think uh, that's not an anagram. Person who has issue receiving letters about diet. No. Republican Party without energy for overhaul. Now this might be a partial anagram, uh, a word for party. We remove an E for energy and we overhaul it. But it's not an obvious anagram. Figure Jade, knocked back, is a greedy so-and-so. Doesn't look like an anagram. Handle thief, following specific way of working. Again, doesn't look like an anagram. One other thing is we look at the length of the answer. And so you're looking for words that stick out, that add up to that number of letters. So I don't see it. Let's try a horny male caught in rain. Perhaps Romeo. I don't see any combination of these that are going to be eight. Uh, E.g. part of Leicester, thoroughfare, sheltering home, no. Um, this doesn't look like an anagram either. Um, let's look for uh, make a mess of, possibly could be an anagram, but I don't think so. Um, ah, here we go. Nigella, mixing. So mixing is definitely an anagram signifier. Uh, with men. So Nigella has seven letters. Men have three. Uh, and the answer has ten, doing some decorating. So I think that's going to be an anagram of Nigella, men. Um, of course, we have ing. So I would be very surprised if this doesn't end in ing, a word for decorating. And we have Ella and men left over. Oh, uh, enameling, I think. Enam. I guess it has two L's. Perhaps in the U.S. it's spelt with one L, but uh, enameling, okay. So using uh, the Cryptic Mystics uh, strategy, we've got a couple of uh, anagrams here, and it's already given us one crosser. Let's just do a quick uh, look through. Uh, sun walked awkwardly. Well, 
awkwardly could definitely indicate an anagram, but walked as six. Sun is usually a single S, but that's still only seven letters. Uh, but actually, this one, I think, is fairly straightforward. It's not an anagram. Knowing that sun uh, is usually an S, and then we need a word for walked awkwardly, and the whole thing it will mean dressed like a baby. Well, thinking of uh, the crib and baby Jesus swaddled, uh, I think that's a fairly easy one. Let's keep going just to see if there's any other anagrams. No, I don't see. I wonder if the uh, would be interesting. Again, I'm not an expert on the different British cryptic crosswords. It would be interesting to know if the Guardian has fewer anagrams than the other newspapers. Uh, put your thoughts on a postcard and send them in. All right, well, we've got some uh, good letters here, so let's try. I did notice this one, what musicians perhaps did in heavy traffic at the seaside. Well, heavy traffic, of course, we think of a jam, and I'm thinking musicians like to jam, so perhaps they jammed. Ah, uh, yes, so the heavy traffic is the jam, and the seaside is the med for the Mediterranean. All right, uh, this, I think we need to solve number two down first, which we don't have any letters for. Let's try five down. This is the periodically one. I'm thinking the definition is going to be a shopping center. And we're going to periodically evicted. So maybe some of the letters of evicted. And maybe we keep going through, I mean, just the phrase evicted a grimier poet. Oh, I am now wondering, maybe it is a poet. Um, mainly because I'm realizing the first four letters could be mall for a shopping center. Then what is the periodically... Uh, there is a poet, or no, was, who is Mallory? Was he a playwright? But uh, what letters are we going to get? Either, well, if we take the second letters of evicted, we get VCE, which seems unlikely. Um, yeah, I think maybe it is going to be a shopping center after all. E-I-T-D. Ah. Or maybe we just evict letters from a grimier poet. Yeah, that may be more likely. Which uh, could give us A-R-M-E P <laughs> Hmm. R G I I. No, that's not likely. Yeah, I'm struggling with this one. Uh, just there's a, too many options. All right. Um, let me actually go back to the uh, acrosses and let's try working our way through these. Defensive work from, again, suggests that defensive work is the definition. And I'm thinking something military uh, when you put in a some kind of um, bunker or the, um, oh, what was the famous line they had in uh, France um, before World War One, right? Maginot, Maginot line. Um, work from a side playing China at first. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. 
All right. It may keep one warm, although one's not cool. So I think it's going to be something that keeps you warm. Uh, cool is in, so maybe one's something out. What keeps you warm? A, a woolly hat, gloves, muffler. Oh, an anorak, possibly, because, um, yeah, someone who is not cool, I think, in, I think the phrase originated with train spotters, right? Who would go around in an anorak and write down train numbers. And so now I think anorak is just a term of abuse for somebody who is not cool. Oh, and we have Nora in the middle of it. So I think that's right. Awful cakes left with nothing on top. Well, left could be L, and then with nothing on top, maybe we put an O at the beginning. And does it mean awful? But what are the cakes? Maybe it's the left half of a word that means cakes. Buns. Um, no, not seeing it. Here was our artist, which is usually R-A, periodically seeing red frames shows anger. So I think it's going to be a word for anger. Again, periodically seeing. I have trouble with these periodically ones just picking out. So maybe S-E-N, S-E-N-R-D. Or maybe red, the word red goes around. Yeah, I'm thinking if it is R-A, it's two letters plus three of the letters from seeing, and then we put the word red around it, then um, possibly, the only thing is that would give us two R's. I think it would have to go like this. And then, uh, what did I say? This was S-E-N, R-E-I-G, Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Oh, yeah. Um, no, so, but I think it's going to be some variation on this. Oh, my goodness. Why am I struggling with that one? All right. How about Palace of Versailles, excursion, not finishing soon? Um. Excursion possibly could indicate an anagram, but not finishing soon. No, not seeing it. Now, this one I thought again was we're going to take the odd letters from, I'm thinking, lie low. So that would be L E O. And we're going to put it in a See, I don't know if that's uh, Hampshire, right? Hence, um, and so maybe just we're going to put LEO here, or maybe one to the right, and it's going to mean a fish or the verb to fish. Hmm. Well, I paused there to drink some water, and then while I was paused, I looked up the rivers of Hampshire. Um, there was the Avon, but then I saw there's one, the Test. And I thought, well, what if it was Teleost? Um, could that be a fish? And sure enough, it is the largest infra class, whatever that is, 
in the class, oh my goodness, Actinoptera G, the ray finned fishes. So I suppose it's more a family of fish that includes the oarfish, the ocean sunfish, a whole lot of other uh, strange fishes. So I learned a new word today, which I will promptly forget, but uh, teleost. So it is uh, the odd letters of lie low and put inside this river test. I've never heard of that river, but there we go. Uh, unfortunately, it just gives us a couple of E's, which are not very useful. All right, let's still keep going with the acrosses. Um, oh, and what was our, ah, our middle name here is Leo, my uh, niece's husband. So good to see Leo there. Um, enormity from Rogue, seen stopping, loving gestures. Well, again, um, we often see this form where we have the definition of the word and then from indicating what wordplay we have to do. Otherwise, we might see some wordplay at the beginning and then we say, see for uh, to indicate the definition is coming. So I think this is going to be a word meaning enormity and a word for rogue, perhaps. And it's going to be stopping or put inside some word for loving gestures. I'm immediately thinking hugs because um, that might get uh, give us something like hugeness, maybe. Um, ah, so in fact, it's not a word for rogue. Here, rogue is signaling an anagram. So we anagram part of the word. It's the letters of scene. So you get a word for enormity from anagramming scene and then putting it in inside of or stopping the loving gestures, the hugs. All right. Uh, lots disheartened about novel maths theorems. Oh, I missed this one because novel can also indicate um, we're going to anagram something. However, lots disheartened tells me that we take the heart or the inner letters from uh, lots and we put it about a word for novel, perhaps. Or it could actually be a novel. Um, and is it going to... Yeah, if, hmm. Lots disheartened about novel. And is it going to be maths theorems? Is there some other word for that? Or just a, well, it can't be an anagram of maths because that would put us at seven letters. I am thinking there is some word, something like logias or Something like that. Oh, I forgot to look at our uh, name hidden within hugeness, and there is Gene right in the middle. So yeah, I think they all have to be exactly in the middle of the word. Uh, all right, but let me look up some other word for maths theorems. Ah, there is one, and it, it does contain a girl's name in the middle. And so the novel that the uh, Disheartened Lots goes about is the title of a book, Emma. And lemmas are a type of mathematical theorem. I'm sure I have heard that word before. All right, person who has issue. Immediately I'm thinking of a parent, so it could be a, f a word for father or mother, receiving letters about diet. So I think it's going to, 
either yeah maybe the definition is a person who has issue but i think it's going to be diet is the definition because yeah receiving letters suggests we put the uh, letters inside of the parent word and then we have some then it may mean about diet so it's an adjective um nutritional um yeah i can't think of it republican party without energy for overhaul um so here's one where i think it's the word play and then the word for tells us the definition is coming next overhaul however and i think this is the hard part for beginners to cryptic crosswords and i include myself in that it can be frustrating because that's true until it isn't and so we may have to overhaul some of the letters and get something for a republican but let's uh, assume it's going to be a word for overhaul i'm thinking of a redo um so how would redo work r for republican and a party is a do ah so here without means on the outside of so it's a very old meaning of without i think you'd see it in shakespeare plays who's who's waiting without and so the R and the do are outside of E for energy, and the whole thing means an overhaul, and there is Ed hiding in the middle of it. All right, just two more acrosses, and then we'll look at the downs. Figure, Jade knocked back, is a greedy so-and-so. That's... Uh tough one to decipher i mean the phrase a greedy so-and-so mm -hmm. just runs together so well that you think that must be uh, right mm -hmm. uh, sorry i was uh, distracted there but i think um greedy so-and-so could be the definition it just it seems strange as a definition but the reason I'm thinking that is we may have to have something for a figure, which could be a number, maybe a short number like uh, 10. Jade knocked back suggests we have to reverse. I don't think we're going to reverse Jade itself. I think we're going to reverse a synonym. Now, Jade can be a color, so maybe green. Um, or to jade, I think, can mean to tire, to become jaded. Um, and then is, I think, I'm thinking, says, okay, that was all the wordplay, and then it, this is going to be a greedy so-and-so, but that, yeah, it just doesn't seem right as the definition. Let's move on. Handle thief following specific way of working so i think this might be handle as the definition just because following seems like we're telling where one word has to appear in the answer so thief a word for thief following a specific way of working could be a mode um is there a word for handle beginning with M-O-D-E? Specific way of working. Style. Um, a plan. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, let's uh, move on to the downs and hope the crossing letters help us. Now, uh, this one is uh, interesting. A horny male caught in rain perhaps Romeo. I think that's going to be the definition. Romeo is an example of, now it could be 
a phonetic letter, Romeo for R, or it could be Romeo as a character in a play, Romeo is a general term, term for a Lothario or a lover. Uh, when we see A appearing in a clue, it uh, usually ends up being part of the wordplay. So I am thinking it's going to be A. Now, what is a horny male? I think that's going to be a punning definition of a devil. Um, an imp, a satyr, which is going to be caught inside of a word for rain, and then the whole thing is going to mean Romeo as an example. Now, and the A might actually appear along with the horny male inside of the word for rain. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, let's move on. E.G. Part of Leicester thoroughfare. Sheltering home. Yeah, that's there's an awful lot of words in that for a four-letter answer. Yeah, not seeing it. And it would be good to get two down because it's referenced here. Ah, now this is looking more like mall appears. And, um, yeah, so maybe it is going to be a poet. Mall, and then... Ah, uh, so maybe we, uh, we evict some letters from A. Grimier, and we're going to get a poet. And we do end in E, so I think I can work backwards, maybe. So to say we would have an M. Oh, Mallarmé, of course, Stephen Mallarmé, a French poet. I think uh, Debussy set some of his poems to music, if I'm not mistaken. All right. All right, I had to take a break there, but while I was gone, I was thinking about 26 across and realized that handle not only could be a verb as in to handle things or the handle of a shovel or something else but can also mean a name and a specific way of working could be a modus operandi which would be an mo and a thief a person who nicks things could be called a nicker and so you get moniker, a name or a handle. So let's see if that's going to help. Now let me go down back to a six down was the next uh, down. With the current drink, master gets hammered. It's a very interesting ending, E something M. I'm thinking ERM, and it's um, going to be a scientific word. I'm wondering if it's going to be with a current and something about um, nice, not isotherm or something about about going with the the current of water and then the word play well it gets hammered might be that we anagram master with a word for yeah maybe it's master gets is 10 letters oh no no we have an o so and an n which are not part of master but we might finish with, um, yeah, maybe it's a four-letter word for drink and then an anagram of master. Let me pause and think about that. Ah, yes, that's exactly it. So to drink something might be to down it. 
and then the anagram, it wasn't ERM, it was EAM downstream going with the current. All right. Now make a mess of French work for rodent. So I presume it's going to be a a rodent of some kind. Which rodent is this? Something A, something M. Yeah, I think I think we just need to figure out a rodent that fits and then work backwards to derive the wordplay. Because I'm not thinking, uh, maybe it's the French word for work, travail. Um, yeah, not, uh, oh, well, sorry, I was thinking of vermin, varmint. Make a mess. No, I'm not seeing it. All right, is very theatrical. Account welcomed by public school's head, question mark. So there's, uh, I think the setter is taking some liberties with this one. I think it's going to mean is very theatrical. And it's going to be a, then a word for account. Uh, welcome by public, and then maybe an S for school's head. No, not seeing it. Thinks a lot. Um, so I think that might be the definition. Rising stars, or thinks a lot of maybe. Um, esteems would be a word to mean to think a lot of someone. Uh, rising stars uh, meets or meet uh, lots of rising stars meet well I can see meet is there backwards and security guards I'm not exactly sure how the wordplay is going here I can see that guards could mean one word goes around, so security might guard the rising stars meet. Is can E E S be security? No, I think I'm gonna need fifteen square to explain that one to me, but I'm fairly confident in esteems. Statesperson, you heard, so I think we have a homophone. Thanks, Chinese people. Uh, so I think it's going to be a statesperson. Is it going to be a specific name? You heard, thanks, Chinese people. Oh, no, it... Um, I think it might be the Uyghurs could be the Chinese people. Now, can I spell Uyghur? Um, probably not, but how is that a statesperson you heard? Thanks. Um, I'm not sure. Let me uh, look up Uyghur. I think it's U-I, oh, it might be seven letters. Yeah, let me check. Well, there are a few different spellings, but uh, the one I see here in uh, Wikipedia is U-I-G-H-U-R. I I'm still don't get the wordplay if it's a homophone of statesperson you heard. So let me go ahead and check it. No, it's not, other than the H. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reveal it. Ah, a person from the state of Utah, Uton. You heard. So, okay, that's the first letter U is a homophone of U. Thanks is Ta. 
and the Chinese people are the Han. Oh my goodness, very, uh, very tricky. Not a word you see very often, Yuton. Yikes. All right, Shakira, perhaps, our half-cut Lana Turner. Well, I'm thinking uh, Shakira is a Latina, so half of Lana is La, and then, of course, Tina Turner, and we got Latina. All right, Cedric, Keynes 11. Now, is it referring to... Ah, so, uh, yeah, I think it is referring back to middle name. Cedric Keynes middle name. Who is Cedric Cain? <laughs> Our Cedric. Is it uh, Harry Cain's middle name? I'm not sure. Oh, no. So it's actually a hidden clue. So using uh, the concept of a middle name hidden within Cedric Kane is uh, Rick. I think that's a fairly easy one. If, if it's right, let's check it. It is correct. All right, now our figure Jade knockback is a greedy so-and-so. <sighs> yeah, not seeing it. Um, person who has issue. Uh, so maybe, ooh, I am thinking, ah, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking if we put parent around some other letters, and I immediately thought of parliament, which would be um, a diet, another name for a legislative body, a diet, or a parliament. And receiving letters, L-I-A-M. Ah, letters about. So if you get mail, you get letters, and we reverse that. There we go. And the hidden name is Liam. All right. Funny we've had Liam and Owen. I know... Uh, people with twins named Liam and Owen. All right, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and reveal this figure Jade knocked back a gannet. All right. Um, oh, I think 10 is knocked backwards and is nag Another word for jade, or I should say is jade, another word for nag. And then is a granite, a gannet, I know it's a seabird, is it known for being, or used as a term as, as a greedy person? Yes, apparently in the UK, the term gannet is used to refer to people who steadily eat vast quantities of food, especially at public functions. I'm not familiar with that. Anyway, and yeah, I'm not familiar with jade as a word for nag, if that's if I'm reading that correctly. All right, how about our is very theatrical? How is this word going to end? Yeah, I'm not sure. A S T Y. A-S-T-E, account, what would an account be, a tail? Uh, no, I think I'm going to reveal this one. Overacts, oh, well, that would meet the definition of is very theatrical. Account is, um, what is the account? Welcome by public schools. Uh, I think AC is an account in, well, in business, in accountancy. And P 
public is overt, followed by school's head. So I was right to be wary of public school's head and thinking they should be separated somehow, but I could not get that answer. Let's try our Palace of Versailles excursion, not finishing, soon. I'm wondering if soon could be the definition. We have an excursion not finishing. Well, what's the Palace of Versailles? How can that be shortened? Now I'm going to go ahead and reveal that one too. Trianon. No, I don't know that word. Let me look it up. All right, so try our the Grand Trianon. Uh, seems to be maybe the official name for the Palace of Versailles. So that would mean excursion not finishing, I think is going to be T-R-I-A. Would that be trial not finishing? Because soon is going to be anon. Yeah, excursion must be trial. All right, well, I don't think it's going to be triad. That's uh, very strange. Oh my goodness, I got hardly anything in the top half. Let's try our horny male caught in rain, perhaps Romeo. Oh, I wonder, uh, rain could be poor. Um, Ooh, a, um, a paramour could be your Romeo. So we do have, ah, the horny male is a ram, of course, a ram hidden inside of poor. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be some military defensive structure like a rampart or something. Uh, from a side, playing a side, could be an 11, a team, or maybe an anagram of, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm going to reveal it. Palisade, okay. So it is an anagram of a side, being being anagrammed or playing and China which is slang for a friend the old China is pal which comes first a palisade of course all right can now I get eg part of Leicester thoroughfare sheltering home I think it might mean EG um, because I'm thinking sheltering home means we're going to have the word in. When you're at home, you're in. And part of, oh no, maybe it's um, part of Leicester. So it might be an example and a thoroughfare. Oh, a thoroughfare could be a road. And Leicester is not the city, it's a cheese. And so it would have a rind. Now are awful. Cakes left with nothing on top. I'm not seeing that. Let's reveal it. Bald. Okay. Uh, so nothing on top means bald. Uh, so awful is bad. Left is L, and the bad cakes are surrounds the L. Oh my goodness. Maybe because I'm hungry, I was just thinking of cakes as actual cakes. So now that we know rind, we have rock stars curse about broken. So I presume it's going to be an anagram of rind. And we're going to 
then put a word for a curse around that so it would have to be a three letter word and we're going to we're going to get a rock star now is it going to actually be a rock and roll star or is it going to be a famous geologist um well let's assume it'll be a rock star a musical act let me pause and see what I can do with anagramming rhyme to the middle of something. Ah, yes, it is an actual rock star, so they're getting a little uh, lax with us here. So it's Hendrix, the curse is the hex. And uh, yeah, I just thought the N was the most likely letter of rhyme to go between the E and the D. How about, oh, this looks like... Um, irritate surely to anger somebody to irritate them artist periodically seeing red frames show anger shows anger oh no so i don't think it is irritate well maybe it is let's check it it is right Is it um, yeah I'm not sh I don't fully understand that one oh well, maybe it's artist periodically could be a r no a a t s no R-I-T, ah, yes, so R-I-T, so that's artists periodically. Seeing red frames it. Oh, so if you're seeing red, you're irate, and that goes around the R-I-T to get irritate. Oh, my goodness, what a journey that was. All right, just this one. Um... Ah, oh, there can't be too many words. Let me uh, check wordplays.com. All right. Um, so cheating by relying on uh, wordplays.com, I see marmot, which I think is like a squirrel. And so to make a mess is to mar. And a French, the French for a word is mo. And you get marmot. Let's check all... Everything else seems to have stayed. Let's take a quick look at 15 squared. All right, today's block is by Manehi. Very enjoyable solve. In each of the across, there's a hidden name. Oh, very helpfully, Manehi has highlighted them. Yeah, I didn't look at Anne and Nick, um, Ian and Trianon, uh, Al, Lisa, yeah. Uh, for a let oh yeah, and of course, middle name itself has Lena, uh, but not in the middle like the others, but that's all right. Uh, I, I think I understood all of them except for 19 down. I did have maybe some questions about um, 14. No, I think I, I got that, yeah. Uh, 15... Oh, no, I, I don't know why I, I double counted the A. I thought it was trial, but no, of course, it's a trip not finishing and then a non. My bad, apologies. Um, let's see. 25. Yeah, nag is jade. Oh, it's not nagging as a verb. It's a horse that is old. Ooh, I did not know that. I'm glad I looked that up. Good to know for future reference. And then on the downs, um, thinks a lot of, of course, the definition. Reversed is rising and hidden inside. Oh, it's right there, rising. So rising being backwards. Security meets stars has esteems right within it. Oh my goodness. Um, 
yeah, so that is, uh, I think, fairly straightforward. Yeah, I thought it was tough, but not the toughest of the week. Uh, but still, um, quite a few I did not get there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.